hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Eunice Opoya so recently I posted a video asking who do you think is to be blamed on how girls are being treated in Gulf countries and I like your responses and soon I will make a video about the same but in the meantime listen to this clip that I met online for those guys who are planning to go to Middle East and everyone who is in the Middle East I must share with you people. Because the whole of today, I was busy compiling the, 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 the serious cases of our daughters and sons in, in the Gulf region or Saudi Arabia. Because I wanted to isolate now those with without serious cases and while we have serious cases. Listen, guys, it's very painful that so far. We have around 12 people who have really died in Wakopale. 12 confirmed. I've talked to their families. I've even talked to their mothers, uh, even to their hus husbands. You know, very painful. Very painful. But I want to put like this. Middle East, kuna wasikia namba wameno kufanya kasi pale na wamefaulu. Lakini lawama linarudi pale kwa embassy embassy yetu iko mbaya kidogo awafanye kazi sababu and it's, it's no sisi africans sio kenyans pekee wanaenda pale because atujaskia from other countries eh, eh, shida kama hizi ama cases kama hizi ziko Kenya ama hawa sijana wetu wa Kenya Uganda wako sawa Tanzania wako sawa other regions wako sawa it's only in Kenya because the embassy ya Kenya Awajali maisha ya wale wa Kenya wako pale. Kasi yao, I don't know ile kasi wanaenda kufanya. And I want to tell you the truth, guys. Ni may interact with more than 325 girls today. So let's so far, ni kuna 55 cases, serious cases, na ni compile zote. I have all the agent numbers here in Kenya, the agent numbers in, 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 in Saudi Arabia. Wengine mpaka Lebanon, you know, iko shida kubwa sana. Na hii mambo yote ni serikali. Na serikali ni wapi? Embassy. It is the embassy. I want to tell this guy called Juma, mwenye alinisomea leo kidogo, Juma <laughs> does not even have even a figure. Ya wale watoto wanaumia pale. Even Diana to Kiresku, the lady uh, Diana, Juma was far away from that lady. I was just, I've just come to know that Juma Biashara ile wanafanya pale I don't know ni biashara gani wanafanya. Hawataki kuzaidia watoto wetu pale. Eti mtoto wa kifu, kuna, kuna watoto sasa hizi wamefunga, wamefungwa. Wako jela up to now. Kuna watoto kutoka na eh, eh, Nakuru, kuna kutoka Nyeri, watoto saidi ya miambili wako jela as we speak more than one year. And no one no government hata pale Kwa embassy, they don't even respond. Kuna watoto wako jela. You know? Em, imagine, embassy haifanya kazi. Eti sasa, I have et the evidence. Eti watu wakenda embassy, wanafukusa kama humbwa. Kwanza wanafuku, wanaituwa polisi kucho kuwafukusa. Waweru, Waithaka, Muli, Juma, Friends, Kindly, Ah, watoto wako pale, you are there as an embassy because of those kids or those daughters. Amwezi, we have evidence. Even to some of you, muna konu watoto wetu. Ambao muna jua, mwarabu wame block passport yaka asiende. Alafu bada muna itisha pesa, eti uwe enda lipa, toa pesa tuwa kulipia kwa, 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 kwa yandege. My friends, Waitaka, I have your case with me. And I will deal with you perpendicularly. This is not a, an easy matter. Government Yakesha is a familiar case, guys. And we will follow you to the ladder. We will not allow our daughters, some of our girls, to come here, pale, and you are there. Don't call our ladies. Alafu muki patikar manase ma oh kid, our ladies wane no Malaya inje. My friends, we know Arabs. We know. Mukikuwa kona, manasema, hati, oo, oh, sichu, wanaenda kuchiuza, unajiuza hache kwa nyumba ya marabu. Mstena meenda pale, 
ako na contract ya ya, ya, ya ya agent kutoka Kenya na akiwa na shida you don't even appear anywhere agent is coming to you to na agent numbers and everyone he si wezi achilia anything touching on human being my friends eh i must follow hii nita compile nitaenda kwa wakili vizuri ni compile vizuri nipewe ni kila kitu and i will present somewhere i don't want to tell you the embassy must work the labor attaji chelugu is doing a good job let me tell you but ile labor attaji yuko yupo pale eh, embassy ya Saudi Arabia yetu iko Saudi Arabia afanye chochote nothing mr ogeko ambassador my friend mimi nasema kama kama malema eh hata kama sina uwezo hakuna kitu umefanya pale embassy iko shida kubwa sana mumetesa watoto wetu wa kutosha mumeenda mukafanya biashara na warabu i have evidence guys malema si mtu kusema propaganda mkiwa kukiwa na kesi you are the ones kwenda pale na kuambia msichana hapana eh rudi tu anafanya enda fanya tu kaza nayo marabu sababu eh huyo marabu atachenya 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 namna gani mwisho mtoto anawawa as we speak every plan coming from middle east there must be one body or two bodies daily when are we really ready to to guzika watoto wetu hivi yani mpaka lini so kembo i have that report with me na hakuna policies. This government <laughs> nimeongea na watu kutoka Geneva, nimeongea na watu wa Australia, nimeongea na watu ana have a document hiyo will be presented. Hakuna ujiga ya agent. Et imagine agent anachukua mtichana ya mtu ambaye ana slippers. Imagine slippers tu na t-shirt moja white. Eh? Atimpaka pale airport anapewa contract ambaye yeye mwenyewe asija sign na passport pale airport anapewa pale passport pale airport na anaambiwa kaa nacho na pale kwa passport hata passport yangu kuna mali nime sign wale watoto wa sign bwana how how minister of labor na hii national employment authority mnafanya nini mpaka watoto wanapelekwa mpaka airport ni wana sign court wanapewa contract na achasoma we don't blame the girls we blame the government because kama kungekuwa na strict policies ya kukamata hawa watu hawa watoto wangeenda kuumia sababu kuna mwanya of course kila mtu aku desperate how come unachukua passport ya mtoto naye kupatia na airport mtoto akichukua ndege our girls let me tell you gulf size ni mbaya we was planning to go to gulf region stop from today mpaka serikali ingine ikuje tusafisho ya embassy ya ya, ya, ya Saudi Arabia na alafu sasa tuweke sasa policies na tuweke sheria between the agent and the employer Wesi chukuliwa wa wanje ndege vile unafikiria. Muende pale kwa embassy. Muende kachukua mtoto pale kwa embassy sababu ni hatari sana. And I want to thank my my sister uh, Kenyans abroad. Kalijina abroad. Kwa kazi nzuri. Tunashirikiana kufanya hii kazi. Imagine Juma, Juma does not know what he's really doing. Ananiambia at Malema stop airing the plight of Kenyans in Middle East. How? eti mtoto kutoka Gerio Valley ambaye yuko pale na kuna shida eti mzazi wake atoke Gerio Valley kuja kulialia eti mimi nikae kando how i am a kenyan na nikiwa na shida i must share especially something touching on human life hiyo nitaenda na mpaka mwili au expose hata kama nini au expose wasichana wetu wote wengi wako jela wengine wako kwa hii hostels wanafichwa pale kwa hostels nyumba aina hata ventilator aina hata nini aina hata dirisha let me promise the people in Saudi Arabia at the moment hii serikali ya kesho hii itawaokoa agents you are doing a dirty job mnamaliza watoto wetu Kenya and sorry there is a girl in Egypt also eh iliongea na Said Jioni she is actually suffering anaumia sana na hata ananiambia ajui vile alienda Egypt up to now akutumia yani sijui kama aliwekwa dawa na akapelekwa ajui ajijui tumeongea na Isa hizi and I will still talk to her nataka nimjua anatoka wapi na na hey, yuko shida jamani and there is a lady from Nakuru you will allow me to post this, her because yeye alikuwa na kana rafiki yake Nakuru akamwambia rafiki yake waache niende Middle East nijungie watoto 
mwenye amewajua watoto watatu ajui kwa huyu msichana na msichana ko jela for the last one year watoto wake wako na friend wake na kuru yani i tell you guys maybe the, maybe hata wazazi wanafikiria mtoto wako wapi you know this is a serious and a serious thing and one funny thing graduates una walimu imagine graduates high school teachers primary teachers they are suffering in lebanon hakuna kazi wanafanya wameenda yani sababu hakuna employment kenya hii wameenda pale kufanya kazi ya ya, ya maid lakini sasa wanaumia and they are graduates there is another one from bungoma there is another one from transoya there is a, another one from kuresoi So nimechukua hizo zote nimeweka in one in one platform eh yeah. nimefungulia nimefungulia WhatsApp alafu wale wamepoteza their loved ones nimewekelea nimefungua sasa hizo WhatsApp yao niweka pale pia I need to know how many people how many girls died there na mili bado ziko pale haijafika Kenya embassy hakuna mtu amefuatilia hata moja ukiwa na kesi ni sababu waarabu nyimo unajua waarabu mtoto akifanya makosa ni wewe ndio umefanya makosa and that is a tradition mtoto mdogo controls the father and the parent mtoto mdogo kiaongea uongo baba anakubali na mzazi anakubali and mfanyakazi atakuwa in trouble msichana wetu akitoroka pale anawekelea wameiba una ataiba haje imagine ataiba haje na apeleke kitu wapi so i want to tell the ladies and our girls working in the middle east kindly chungana na watoto sana hawa watoto ndio wana control wazazi. Wakiambia wazazi uongo, wazazi wanafuata. And you will be in trouble. Reason ukiwa na kesi, of course embassy wanafaa kuingilia. Ogeko anakuja Kenya na kaa karibu mwaka mmoja. Is nothing and has not been the, in the embassy. Your embassy must be clean. That embassy must work. I'm collecting very important document I will give to my boss. I promise. Watu wetu lazima wasaidiwe. Embassy staff kidogo kuna jamaa anaitwa Shongi nasikia kweli akipikiwa sima na shukulika hao wengine wote na nimesikia wawero alifuta wengine juzi but <laughs> na amekuja Kenya wawero i know you are in Kenya you are like assistant ambassador you are in Kenya nothing nothing you've done in nothing nothing at all waitaka nothing at all mumekuwa tu pale bure Akuna kazi mnafanyia wasichana. Wasichana wanaenda wanasanya ukuru mmoja karibu wasichana. Yaani mtoto msichana mtu akifanya makosa pale ama akiona ile contract yule mwajiri wake ameenda against ile contract uh, ame, ame, alikuwa amepelekwa pale. Msichana akitoka anawekelewa tena mwizi. Ama akirudisha kwa ofisi, hiyo ofisi unasikia ni ofisi hiyo ofisi. Eti ni hostel na ina dirisha bana watoto watu bana wao wakonjwa. I have pictures of yani daughter suffering bwana. Watu wanakula mil moja in one day. Even the parts, imagine sabuni hawana. Eh? Parts hawana. The embassy staff are just there, loving and taking tea. Nothing. No 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 no.